60. So let's stop at 60. You can still see them. This this is about 70 meters ish. Let me see. This direction calls to 71, 72. Let's okay, go. so right at 70 meters is where you can see. Drawing back the veil. Oh yeah. The attack does take longer to hit and it takes longer to come back. 25 seconds. Oh man. Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back, man. Hey, the Sear nerf has finally went live and um it's it's definitely a noticeable nerf, man. He he got a lot of things decreased in the time. Everything for him now seems a lot slower. Uh, you guys are going to see, I'm going to have all the patch notes pop up on here so you guys can see all of it, but there was a nerf to him, but I will say this, if you were a seer main or somebody who was trying to get into him or liked him, don't worry, it's not the end of the world for him. It is just a slight learning curve now because his tactical is slower. Um, it takes longer for it to crash down and hit. Thankfully, they got rid of the little blinding thing and, and everything like that, and the fact that it slowed you for a little bit so all of that is gone but he's still a really good legend man and if i was going back and doing my tier list i would still say that he's a tier but i don't think they killed him thankfully so sir is still a good legend you guys are actually going to see in this gameplay today but without me talking too much i'm gonna just go ahead and let the video play i talked about it a little more in there so if you guys end up enjoying this video and you like the content be sure to sub to the channel that'd be much appreciated also turn that notification bell on and like and share the video with a friend and without further ado it's time to run it bye yeah that's gonna take a little adjusting since it goes so damn slow. You want this R99? I want y'all uh, niggas to come on. Uh, I'm gonna drop right here. I, don't know I, grab. I got a flat if you want that. Unveil yourself. Watch out for the new kill leader. Your veil will fall. So slow. At this point, shit, if you get caught with the damn Seer Tactical, you, you just down bad. Oh, I feel like I'm lagging so much more now. Got 30 years. Uh, oh, I got him. I was gonna say, nigga, got 30 years to dodge that shit. Josh? 
Are you ever gonna hit a shot? I am repairing myself. Oh, this is the last team. That's gonna make him get down. Or not, or not. Apex That's a good way to end it. You get your ult slower. You move slower when you're trying to use your passive. Um, it takes longer to get your tactical. 
takes longer for the tactical to hit. But everything else is still the same. It's just everything is slower. So now it's really more of a timing based thing. It's not just throw it out there repeatedly. You know what I mean? Like you're really saving that thing for like, okay, I hear a res or, oh, I broke him and he's probably trying to get his shield up or something like that. It's it's definitely different and slower. Game changing a little bit. It's definitely a little change, a game changer, but I still see Seer as a strong legend. He's still, if I was to do my tier list over, like I said, he did, he's not even going to drop to B tier because he's still strong with everything that he can do. The passive heartbeat, the ultimate, um, and if you can hit the tactical, it is really good. But as of right now, those other two things are really good and strong for the team. So I would say if he drops from S tier, he is A tier. And Bloodhound now, in my opinion, jumps or didn't even leave S tier. Bloodhound is still S tier. So 